And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a killer round. We're playing as the pig. We'll take a quick look at the loadout. Nurse is calling to help us find injured survivors. Barbecue and chili to help us find survivors when we hook someone. And a few extra blood points to Scords. Finding multiple survivors on a gen. And Hex Ruin to slow the game down as long as that totem is up. And we are playing with the nasty combination of the crated gears, which will increase the time it takes survivors to search a jigsaw box. And the tampered timer that will... Reduce the reverse bear trap timer. Uh, that timer gets reduced, I believe, with that tampered timer from two and a half minutes to two. So it can make things a little bit more difficult, particularly if someone has trouble finding the boxes. We actually attempted to run this build on the new map. Uh, we got an immediate disconnect, not even from somebody we had trapped, but we got an immediate disconnect and then we had a power outage that killed our game halfway through when we had two people with traps on their head and no generators being done. So we didn't really get a chance to see how that worked in practice on the new map, which is something I'd like to try. Unfortunately, I burned one of the only offerings I had to get us to the new map. So we're going to be randomized on this one. Can we hope we get the new map? We had a round with the pig that went very well on the new map already. That happened by happenstance and not with the tampered timer. So perhaps we will just be sent there randomly. But if not, we'll uh, we'll just see how it works uh, works on any map. I've played it before and I've I've gotten kills with the bear traps before. So we'll see if we can uh, maybe pull that off again here. Well, we're going to be on the new map without the offering. So I guess we get a reset. We get a reset from that last game. Maybe this is the game feeling sorry for me for the power outage lost game I had. Hey, it's the survivor. Hi. Ah! All right, Meg. I heard somebody back there. Hey, where'd she? Oh. Forgetting there's a drop off there. Well, that's bad. We uh, keep forgetting there's a drop-off in that particular bathroom. Hey, there's the drop off. Let's get a trap on you. And there goes Ruin, unfortunately. So, thought the totems might be more difficult to find on this particular map, but maybe not. That's a bit of a disappointment. Really? That's fine. We can do that. Boy, that's literally farming them. Oh. All right. Well, somebody already has a trap on their head that's activated, so. There's the Meg we hit, but didn't trap before. 
That's actually kind of who we want to be chasing at this point. All right, we're going to leave you down. Yeah, we're going to leave you down. God, somebody is right below. Yep. Hey, Meg. Let's get a hat on you. Let's kick that generator. Hey. Yeah, now let's kick that generator. There you go. Hey. Yeah, she picked up. See if we can get you to a hook. All right. All right, you crawled out there nicely for me. We'll get you to a hook. And, oh, wow. That, uh, that may have answered my question about the timers there. And somebody else just gave up on the hook. Saw somebody heading down this way. <laughs> hey, it's Steve. You're the only one we haven't seen, buddy. Let's see what we can do with you, my friend. Oh, you're both here. Effective. Now, the question is, can we go find Steve, who's down? We need some stairs. Stairs would be nice. These are not the stairs we're looking for. Those are the stairs we're looking for. Where did we leave Steve? Like he was here somewhere? Hey, there you are, buddy. Well, that is going to be, that is going to be about as impressive a 4K as you can get right there. We never even used our stealth ability, unless he can Kobe off the hook, and I'm guessing he's not going to be able to. Oh my god, the hatch is right there too. Unlucky. Well, that is going to be our 4K. Play the sirens. So that worked. That worked about as well as we could have hoped for. Uh, we had one of our survivors just absolutely could not get that trap off in time. The timer 
and the crate of gears is just such an ugly, ugly combination. And we uh, and we knock out a rift challenge there by killing everybody in one trial by any means. And the bear traps count for that. Uh, that's a brutal match for those survivors. We found the... Oh, and look at that. Somebody with a key actually on that map. But... Ah, all I could say is uh, this, this poor person got trapped early and, uh, and just never could get the trap off. We had traps on everybody except the Steve. And uh, let's see if we can see who that Steve was. There it was. That's who ended up on the hook. Not the person with the skeleton key. That may have been the last person I killed. That, uh, that other Meg, I believe, is the one who, yep, I believe that was the Meg. And she had a key that she could have opened that hatch, but they just didn't get any generators done because they were too busy looking for traps. And boy, on that map, that is probably very difficult to get to those, just to get to those jigsaw boxes. When you run that timer and that crate of gears together, it's tough sometimes on regular maps that are wide open on that map. That doesn't really surprise me we got a kill. And that's about as easy a 4K as we've had in a long time. So. We had tried this build with this killer, tried to use a map offering, had a power outage, lost the game halfway through that was going really well. We get a reset. We get a second chance. This time the game played out exactly the way we wanted it to. So I hope you watched that pretty diabolical build on that diabolical map come to fruition in this match. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons and check back with us. We have new Dead by Daylight videos on a daily basis. Until the next time, thanks again. We'll see you in our next Dead by Daylight.